Upper Body Conditioning Hold your arms out to the side. Hold and rotate in a circle, first forwards. Ensure your posture is correct. Arm rotations strengthen your shoulders. That's good, keep going. Now, let's turn it backwards. Be careful of your neck getting strained. And if it hurts, please stop. Breathe in and breathe out continuously. Keep rotating. I know you can keep rotating. Keep going, you just have a few more seconds left. Shoulder rotation. Perform forearm rotation at the elbow inwards and then outwards. This exercise shapes your shoulder, collar and upper back muscle groups. Don't forget to breathe in and breathe out. Very good! Lovely. Keep going. Relax. Push-ups. Place your hands on the floor about shoulder width apart, palms flat. Extend your legs straight, resting on your toes. Make sure your hands are directly under the shoulders and not forwards. Bend the elbows, allowing them to flare naturally out to the sides and lower your body. If tired, relax and do the push-ups in two or three rounds. Make sure your body is in a straight line from the top of your head to your heels. This is very important. Keep your torso rigid and avoid sagging in the middle or piking up at the hips. It's okay if you do this at your own pace. Push-ups are a powerful total body exercise, building strength and endurance in the chest shoulders and arms. Breathe out as you push the floor away and breathe in as you go down. Keep your core engaged all the time. I know push-ups are hard. Come on, you can do it. Push-up variation. Those who find it hard to do push-ups can do this variation. Bend your knees and cross your legs behind. Place your hands on the floor shoulder width apart. Now lower your body until your chest reaches halfway towards the ground. Then push yourself back to the starting position as quickly as possible. Keep breathing in and out as you do this. Be aware of your lower back. If it gets stressed, kindly stop. Please do not exert. You may do push-ups as per your comfort level. Jabbing or punching. Stand in a comfortable and easy boxing stance with one foot slightly forward. Now start punching with all your strength. Keep changing stance with alternate leg forward. Jabbing will improve footwork, enhance stamina, and build shoulder strength. Imagine a point in front of you and keep punching that point. Feel free to vent your breath and emotions easily.
Uppercut. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Protect your face with your fist. Bring your right hand down and bring back while getting into a mid squat. Hook your arm linearly from mid rib upwards. Keep doing alternately. Make sure your breathe outs are explosive to pack a punch. Engage your core. As an exercise, uppercuts are great punches to practice because they involve many different parts of the body. Roundhouse punches. Stand in a relaxed position with your chin tucked in. Punch with your rearward arm. Switch sides. By using the arm that's positioned further back, you'll have a more powerful punch. The arm will travel further and you can put your hips and shoulder into the punch too. Use your shoulder and hips to give yourself an additional power as you follow through with the punch. If you sustain the movement for longer counts, it'll give you a good cardio value. Tricep arm push up with chair dips. Hoist yourself up with the help of a chair as long as it's stable and secure to take your body weight. Hands should be shoulder width apart, fingers facing forward and elbows pointing backwards with a slight bend in the elbows. Legs extended out in front of you with a bend in the knee. Slowly lower your body. Push back up until your elbows are nearly straight, but don't lock them out. Hold your stomach tight while doing this exercise. Breathe out while you go up and breathe in when you come down. I know this one's difficult. Keep going. Try a little harder. The tricep dip is excellent for strengthening the upper body and giving you a defined muscle tone of the triceps. It's purely a strengthening exercise for your shoulder, back and triceps. 